heart failure is a very scary term and it's a very scary thing to have. What is heart failure? It sounds horrible. Well, it's when the heart fails to pump enough blood to meet your body's demands. Then you can't do what you want to do. You can't walk where you want to walk. You can't go up the stairs, etc. You can't lay flat at night. You have to sit up to breathe. It's because the heart just doesn't pump very well. What are the symptoms we get? Well, shorter breath. You try to do things. Go places you used to go. Walk up the hill to the barn. You can't walk anymore. You take the UTV. You want to walk out to the mailbox. Get the mail. You can't do that anymore. You have to let somebody else do it. You want to park in the parking lot far away. Walk in. It doesn't work anymore. You lay down at night. You have to put some extra pillows or raise your bed so that the heart doesn't get overwhelmed with fluid that's in it because it can't pump well enough. So how do we avoid it? Well, the main things that cause it are that the heart muscle is damaged. The heart's a fascinating organ, and I say that probably because I'm a cardiologist, but let me tell you some interesting facts. One is the heart pumps 100,000 times a day. Secondly is that the heart, you have a lot of extra heart muscle. So we have two eyes, two ears, you know, two lungs, two kidneys, we have extras, but you can't have extra heart muscle, or you can't have extra heart, because all the electricity that's in it and the plumbing and all that, but you do have extra heart muscle. So in every heartbeat, only one out of five heart muscle cells work. The other four take off and rest. So you have extra heart muscle if you need it. Heart failure occurs when you, the muscle isn't there anymore. It gets damaged from heart attacks, you know, narrowing of the arteries, it gets damaged from high blood pressure. It gets damaged from maybe a viral illness that causes what's called myocarditis and damages the heart muscle. So the muscle can't do the work anymore. I tell patients it's like ten, you and 10 of your friends were picking up a big rock. And if one friend walked away, two friends walked away, it's okay. But if eight of them walked away, if just two of you are picking up the big rock, you're going to give out. You're going to fail to be able to lift this rock. And that's the same thing with your heart. If you lose too much of heart muscle, it can't do the work anymore. And the last thing is the heart's an interesting organ because it has to pump its own energy supply. Remember, most pumps you plug into the wall or something and it's a, it gets energy from external. But the heart has to pump the blood to it with its oxygen in it. So the heart uh, really does a double whammy with heart failure because it gets itself less oxygen and more of its heart cells have to work. So how do you avoid heart failure? Well, the things to avoid heart attacks, the things to avoid strokes, again, healthy lifestyle, healthy eating, exercise, taking care of your stress, taking care of your sleep, uh, not being too overweight, and then avoiding, obviously, cigarettes and excess alcohol. That will help reduce blood pressure too, make your heart be able to pump better, so you live a long life with your heart pumping billions of times throughout your lifetime and you can breathe well the whole, all of your life, so you don't have heart failure, which is really like suffocating, and nobody wants to do that slowly. So try to have the healthiest lifestyle you can. You only got one heart. Take as good care of it as you can. So I'm Dr. Steve Kopetsky, a preventive cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and after surviving two bouts of cancer, I tried to find out what types of behaviors people could adopt to avoid disease, avoid illness, and live a long life. To learn more about this topic and so much more, check out my book, Live Younger Longer, written by me, Dr. Stephen Kapetsky. You can find the book at mcpress.mayoclinic.org or wherever you buy books. Thanks for listening. See you next time.